Hey, what's up everybody? It's Michael, and this is what's going on here at Byerly, August, 2020. But before we get to it, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel and make sure you hit the bell icon so you get notified when we upload new videos. And while you're at it, go ahead and check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And now to the update. More people than ever are choosing to get out and go camping this summer. And for those who want to join them and go explore the outdoors in their own RV, we've made it easier than ever to get a hold of us. You can call, email, and now text every department through our website. Can't make it out to the dealership, but still want to look at an RV? You can now request a personalized viewing experience from our website on any model of RV we have, and a member of our sales staff will video chat with you and walk you through the RV. For those who do come out to the dealership, we have put precautions in place to keep you and our staff safe during these unprecedented times. We are requiring all staff and customers to wear face masks, have frequent and thorough cleaning schedules, have installed shields at all counters, sanitize all vehicles that come in and when they leave our service department, sanitize all rental units, have a selection of sanitizing products available in our business office, and of course, we are practicing social distancing. Be sure to tune in Friday mornings on Fox 2 for their weekend camping forecast going on now through September 4th. And if you're looking for even more RV related video content, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out when we upload videos like these monthly updates, our series of instructional videos, schools, and even fun little videos like our cooking show. Also, every month watch out for when we do live streams on Facebook with Dave and Rick. Over in our parts department, we have a selection of handy parts and accessories on sale through August 31st. And now here's Dave with the sales department's update. Thanks, Mike. Dave, you're at Byerly RV in Eureka, Missouri. Well, if you guys have done any shopping lately, you know that we have been busy. Thank you very much for the business. We appreciate it. 72 years in business, and we just broke our all-time record by 20% last month. Now, that being said, we still have stuff here. Granted, we don't have as much stuff as we normally do, but we still have travel trailers and fifth wheels and motorhomes in stock, and we have tons of stuff on order so that you can still go camping this season. That's why it's important to still come out, sit down with one of our outfitters, talk about how you're gonna camp. We'll find something that works for you, put your name on it, and then when it gets here, it's yours. So. Come on out, make an appointment, see one of our outfitters. We're gonna take a look today at the brand new R-Pod Model 202, just showed up, small travel trailer. Let's go take a look. All right, here it is, the brand new R-Pod Model 202. If you've looked at R-Pods before, you're gonna notice one thing right off the bat that's new, a second axle. Yes, we have a double axle R-Pod with a walk around queen bed that you're gonna see on the inside. The inside is a brand new interior. The outside is a brand new exterior. We have a new frog relaxing under a tree, but you also see we have an outside kitchen with a really, really cool stove. We've got a refrigerator and we've got running water on the outside of the vehicle. Some little things like an actual bumper that'll hold a sewer hose, which we didn't have on other R pods either. We've got the brand new steps. You guys, you gotta see the inside. Let's go check it out. Okay, inside the R pod 202, you'll see right off the bat that we have a brand new interior color palette with new cabinet colors and things like that window treatments, etc. But also, we've got a full-size six cubic foot fridge with overhead freezer. This is new to our pod. There is a fireplace on board, you guys. This is like the coolest our pod ever if you were looking for something that's a little bit bigger than the standard and if you can tow it. We have a walk-through bathroom that goes into a master bedroom with an awesome queen walk-around bed. There's tons of storage and tons of counter space. You guys, if you're looking for a small travel trailer geared towards two people, but with the ability to accommodate some guests, come take a look at this R-Pod Model 202. It's brand new. You got to see it. Over to you, Rick. Thanks, Chewy. And for our service quick tip this month, we're going to talk about tires. So we're all driving down the highway, going wherever we're going. We see those big old black asphalt alligators laying there. Well, that's a result of, of course, tires blowing apart. So one of the big reasons that's causing tires to blow apart, other than the fact that they're coming from China nowadays, is air pressure. Low air pressure, excessive air pressure, whichever the case. So all of your trailer manufacturers, all of your RV drivable manufacturers, all have a plate somewhere on their vehicle 
On trailers, it's usually in the left front corner. On motorized, it's usually up in the cab or possibly on the entry door uh, if it's like a C-Class. So, and they have recommended tire pressures that the manufacturer of the coach wants you to run in it. There's two reasons why they do that. Number one, weight ratings. Number two is handling characteristics for drivables, all right? Most of the time your trailers are gonna go to the maximum that the same, which is the same pressure as what the tire says on it. Drivables are a little bit different. A lot of times the pressures are gonna be a little bit lower than what the maximum tire pressure for the, that the tire has on it. So the manufacturer of the drivable wants that vehicle to ride a little nicer so they don't inflate the tire all the way to the maximum pressure. Otherwise it rides like a, like a bucking Bronco or something like that. So read those labels, inflate your tires to the recommended manufacturer's pressure, not just the tire pressure. You can always go to the tire pressure, but on a drivable, it's probably gonna affect your ride. Just keep that in mind. There's nothing wrong with that. You can do that. If you can't find the manufacturer label or something like that, and you just need to put air in it, you can always go up to the tire pressure. The tire pressure is actually a weight rating. X amount of pressure, X amount of weight that that tire can handle. And that's why they put that on the tire. So just remember, tire pressures, Check them, check them religiously, especially during the summer. You're driving down the road, all that heat off the road builds up in those tires, that pressure swells up even more. And that's usually what causes some of these blowouts and stuff that we're seeing. Um, so check the tire pressure while you're at it. Give your lug nuts a good, uh, a good quick test just to make sure they're all tight too. And uh, enjoy your trip. Back to you, Mike. In this day and age, when every dollar counts more than ever, getting extra savings wherever we can is always a plus. And luckily, our business office is here to help you find the best rates on RV insurance. For more information or a free quote, give our business office a call at the number on the screen or visit our website by clicking the link in the show notes below. Our rental department is still taking reservations for the month of August. And not only do we include 150 free miles per day with your rental, you can now also pre-purchase blocks of 1,000 miles and save $100. They are also now offering a drop and go service with your rental. With this service, when you return your rental, simply drop it off at the dealership and we'll clean the interior, dump the tanks for you, and wash the exterior. For more information on rentals and what's available, give our rental department a call at the number on the screen, or you can visit our website by clicking the link in the show notes below. So guys, that's what's going on here at Byerly. Please stay safe out there, and we hope to see you all soon. As always, to stay up to date on all our latest videos, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel, and click the bell icon so you get notified when we upload new videos. You can also like and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter to stay up to date on any upcoming events, promotions, and news.